I mean, by the end of the 90s, we're more into the ag tractor market, and that's really when the 8000 series, this bigger I'll, frame tractor have a look got at born. This down here. Yeah. Hey. So when I started. This so what was, year would this one be? I think we launched it in 05, but you know, from yeah. the early 2000s, we were working in the development on this tractor. And um, this really took us into CVTs. Uh, Ian will remember that throughout the 90s, there was a lot of evaluation done on all sorts of different transmissions from, from all the manufacturers you can think of. And, um, but we went to market with the Fent CVT. It was around the time that, um, that Agco bought Fent, actually. And uh, we went through a couple of different engine options during the development on this tractor. But this got launched with the Cummins engine, the 8.3 Cummins That's engine. That's right, yeah. I worked in electronics uh, systems in those days. And uh, you know, I remember drawing in paint on the touch screen, the little icons and symbols it was our first. <laughs> Started with black and white, and then yeah. it became the color screen. Color screen only got added during development. So it's quite ahead of its time, really, to have a touch screen in 2005 when we launched it, Fent CVT. Yeah. Still the same concept of the tractor, suspension on both ends, so fully suspended tractor, high speed tractor, ABS, only two wheel steering this, still with that mechanical steer box at the front, so it's yeah. just high speed steering. And at this stage, still with coil springs on it. We didn't really move to hydraulic front suspension. We did, it, we did hydraulic front suspension on the 7000 series, but then we beefed it on the 4000 series to be the system that it is today. <laughs>